If you've been watching the news over the past six months, you've heard lots of bad news, things going on all around the world, really. You've been hearing a little bit about China, you've been hearing about Russia, and then of course with regards to China, you got Taiwan, then you've got inflation over here in the United States, you got tax laws, people looking at that, what's gonna happen there, are we gonna be going into a recession, all kinds of things. Now, as investors, we wanna to try to protect ourselves from bad news, and that causes us to desire to move portfolios around or make changes in our investments based on what we think is coming, and that's actually called tactical asset allocation. What we find is something like 80 to 90% of professional investment managers engage in this. It's really, really high because it is built into our DNA to try to figure out what's coming next. Now, there was a really interesting study that showed this, and it was rats versus humans in this particular study. And what they did is, it was ingenious. They actually took these buttons, and they had one button that was a red button, and then they had another button, which was a green button. And what they, what they did is they said, okay, so we're gonna set this thing up so that one will blink on or the other one will blink on and it will be random. They set it up such that the green button would actually turn on about 80% of the time. The red button would come on about 20% of the time. Now, if you were able to guess which button actually came on, you got a reward. Now the rats, they want a cheese, right? So what they got is if they guessed correctly which button was gonna turn on and they hit it beforehand, they were gonna get some cheese. And guess what? They figured out just by watching the rats did that a most of the time the green button actually turned on so they found that they would get the cheese if they just hit kept hitting the green button and never hit anything else just the green button now the humans weren't going to be outdone by the rats they were going to figure this thing out and what they did is they mostly hit the green button but every once in a while they would hit the red button when they thought that that was going to go on because they perceived that they saw a pattern going on now, what happened was this. The rats ended up getting more rewards than the humans. Why? Because there was no pattern. Even after the experiment was over, they actually found that the people that were in the experiment swore that they saw a pattern, yet there was no pattern. Now, what can we learn from this? When we look at stock markets and we try to figure out where they're gonna go next, we may think we see patterns. We may think we know what's coming. We may know that there's something that's gonna happen in the economy going forward, but the reality of it is trying to figure out where the stock market's gonna go and how it's going to actually respond in the future, pretty much impossible. We see that professional managers don't get higher returns than markets. Tactical asset allocation is nothing but a great way to enrich the investment industry. It doesn't do a whole lot for you, and I would avoid it. Market timing, remember the definition. Any attempt to change your portfolio based on a prediction or forecast about the future. It is futile. Don't try this stuff at home, folks.